That was Marty LaCorey and Jim Ryan. In this race, Marty LaCorey returns, but he's got tremendous competition. Filbert Bailly, the Tanzanian, the man who is the fastest 1,500-meter world record holder at that distance, 3.32.2. He ran on a track just like this. He'll be on the inside. Tremendous competitor, but he'll have a lot of good company with Rick Walhutter out of Chicago. Walhutter, basically known as an 800 and 880-yard runner, moving up to the mile, and he's looking for a good when he's run 354.4, 11th on the all-time list. Reggie McAfee next to him of the Pioneer Club. He's run 357.8. He was in that first dream mile, and I'm sure hopes to do well in this return. And there is Tony Waldrop from North Carolina, the man with a tremendous indoor season. Marty LaCorey on his outside, Sylvan Barrett, Eamon Coughlin, who ran 356-2 last week, and Walter Wilkinson from England. And here they go on that first lap. Once again, that field, LaCorey running his first big mile right now. There is Filbert Bailly taking his usual early start. Bailly is well known for setting a blistering pace, and it looks like Walter Wilkinson from England is on the inside. Bailly does not want to take any chances. He's running the kind of race that people expected him to run here. Once in a while he lays back, but very often, 90% of the time, he is doing what he's just doing right now. Filbert Bailly, he's run equivalent to under 350 in the mile, if you take his 1,500 meter time. The fans here starting to stand up, starting to appreciate the tremendous strength and the fluid drive that Bailly has. He is second in the all-time list in the mile, and I know he'd like to be first. He comes through with a great first quarter, 57 and 110 seconds. The field about 15 yards behind, and this field is tremendous to have such a lead. So Bailly is going after a first quarter, 57. The first half is going to be hot. He has got 20 yards on the field, and there you see the field. Bailly is off screen. Now he is on screen. Gilbert Bailly, 21 years of age. He weighs 130 pounds. People thought he was tired. He just came back from Italy where he ran two races there. A lot of traveling. He's all by himself right now. It's a one-man race, but remember the crowd could come back. There are still two laps and a straightaway to go. Filbert Bailly maintaining a tremendous lead. The crowd showing its appreciation. They're excited. They sense something big. Walhooter, LaCorey, Waldrop, Barrett, Coughlin, Wilkinson, tremendous runners. McAfee, well back. He comes through the half. Let's see what time it is. The half mile, 157. So the pace is hot. And the other runners way back, but still running well. Everyone is running well. Now they're starting to come back to Bailly. Bailly will have company. Walhooder, LaCorey, always strong. Here they come, moving up. There's five yards now. That tremendous first lap may have taken something out of Bailly. The question is, how does he feel right now? He is moving. And in first place, LaCorey is back in third. The only three to challenge at this point. Waldrop is back. The field is well spread right now. So, Coughlin from Villanova in second. LaCorey in third. There's a challenge, but Bailly accepts the challenge. Bailly now moving again. He hears the gun. The adrenaline must be flowing. LaCorey in third place. 255 and 3 tenths. 255-3, let me repeat, 57-1, 157, and 255-3. Here comes LaCorey on the outside. The crowd is going crazy, Bailly maintaining his lead. Nobody has touched him as of yet. Here he comes. LaCorey moving into second place now. Dropping back into third. Here's the race. Bailly moving out. The strength. He's moving. It's going to be a great time. McCorey running a great time also. The field is spread. Wolder coming from behind. Way back. No chance. Here comes Bailly. He breaks the tape and they're going crazy here in Kingston. Marty McCorey running a good race. 351 and 3 tenths unofficially. Filbert Bailly. He set up fantastic pace. He went out by himself. No help. 57 seconds in the first quarter. 157 at the half. 255. Three at the three quarters. And unofficial.
Presley 351-3. And if he does that time, it will equal the all-time best by Jim Ryan, a record that has been waiting so long to be broken. The crowd here up on their feet. Baez looking fit, tremendous. And there you see it. These Jamaicans came and they got their money's worth. Marty LaCorey also running a good race. But how can you look so good against a guy that's running 351?